Prepare your flannels because we're going full space lumberjack with our new Mitre Incarnate Primary Saw Blades. And don't worry, we don't measure our cuts here. So don't you dare grab that tape, put it back down, and watch this auto tracking do it all for you. It's like Rebecca opened up a new chart to look at, you know, just like the usual dev stream. But this time, she opened it up, looked at all of the numbers for all of the subscribers on this channel who couldn't aim, and then sent the information over to Pablo. They both unanimously agreed that it'd probably be the smartest idea to implement a weapon that could help my viewers finally land their shots. So I'm telling you, if you miss just one shot with this gun off. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. I clicked on this video for information. Give me my information. Where do you get the Mitre Incarnate from? The still past circuit game mode located within the Daviri Paradox missions is the one on the left. There will be two out of five weekly rotating weapons that you can select from, and this week holds the Mitre Incarnate. What evolution should you take? Evolution one, this is always given to you. This will be the way for you to evolve your weapon during combat by landing headshots. Evolution two, increase base damage by 77, and with a Warframe channeled ability active, increase the fire rate by 70%, or increase damage by 57 but multi-shot consumes ammo directly from the weapon's remaining capacity then increases the damage by 20 percent so i had to play around with both of these options and i had initially thought that the multi-shot would be a bonus overall to the weapon damage output however because it consumes ammo on top of that for all of the multi-shot you have applied it really just didn't feel worth it especially when you transform the weapon to its incarnate state it has around about 20 shots and you can burn through those shots in sometimes less than 10 shots but here's the kicker the damage between the two didn't actually feel that different for most enemies you would genuinely face within the steel path. So to put this simply, I went with the first option for the base damage increase and solely for that alone. I prefer to go and save my ammo economy as I want to go and use this weapon during its incarnate evolution state more. Evolution 3. 50% increased projectile speeds. Reloading whilst empty gives you a 100% bonus to reload speeds or increase your ammo capacity by an extra 160. So the first option is good because overall this is a projectile weapon and when evolved, it shoots and arcs slower than normal so i automatically just lock this one in the second option requires an empty magazine and if you're a compulsive reloader i wouldn't advise this route and the third option doesn't actually affect the incarnate evolved state so you would choose this outside of the incarnate state for ammo economy lastly evolution four hold your charge shot for one extra second to increase the size of the aoe increase the base critical chance by an additive 22 percent or increase both your critical and status chances by an additive 12%. Outside of the two base increase options, that's option two and option three, I messed around with option one, and although I don't think it's honestly bad, it doesn't apply to you when you're in your incarnate evolved state, because there is no charge during this. So it's an optional route if someone wants a little bit more AoE to their Mitre build, but it requires one extra second every time to activate the AoE effect. The other two options are just flat increases, and primary weapons right now are very in. So for me, it was an easier choice for the second option because it could push me into a new critical tier and I went with that paired with my critical chance for my build. So what does the evolved shot actually look like? So it changes the weapon from this kind of charged semi-shot state into this fully automatic with guidance for each saw blade that will bounce and seek multiple enemies adding into that saucy quality of life for the weapon. What build should you take? It should go without saying that most of these incarnate weapons can build multiple different ways due to their strengths and due to the evolution choices so for my builds i decided to do the unthinkable i created something out of nothing i jumped the border i danced with the elves and i literally just slapped hunt ammunition onto my weapon damage mods because without them you're basically healing enemies at that point multi-shot mods you want to play a game why shoot out one saw when you can shoot out an entire franchise of saws critical mods because blunt things don't slash so we need to go make them sharp enough to cut through not just the enemy but enough to dice them up so the entire family tree doesn't recognize them then we carve off their faces and attach them to our helmets blending into to the enemy's backline as we info hunt a munitions needs criticals gets buffed from virus status chance dips with faction mods and scales for utmost content elemental mods viral status chance is the meta we are currently in this makes enemies health weaker and hurt more when ticks like slash are applied so we took it faction mods multiplicative damage and a two for one bargain deals on every slash tick shop now and don't miss this sale neutralizing justice obviously we 
cannot forget that this weapon has a specific mod going for it in which it can cause none of fire creamen to fear you instead it's there as a choice go and mess around so feel free to throw it in if you do want it so there you have it it's the cutting edge of technology the mitre falls in line as a meta weapon within warframe and receives the upgrade it's been longly looking for now these incarnate weapons are all of the talk but i'm throwing the question out there if you could pick one weapon to get an incarnate genesis version added to it by tonight any weapon what weapon would you choose and why would it be spore laser yeah